I've started just taking this point instead of putting the grave sticker up here to destroy this block and then take it next turn. It's because people block this in so many ways. Like there's so much annoying stuff they can come up with against this. It's a bit weird taking a job for this. Like that's not really that threatening because I just move away now. And then I bring something that can threaten the jar cannon. Like a murder wing. And now they are kind of already stuck. They can never really walk up. Could have also brought snowball, but I think I like murder wing more here. They're going for some kind of, like, annoy me strategy, I think. But it doesn't really matter. Guess I'll just bring Stabby here. Could also go Unicorn into Iffy against these guys and just trap them. Because there's so little space here and they didn't bring gra Grave Digger. That makes it very hard to avoid traps. This is dead if they do that. I mean, I don't mind that trade at all. Killing the jar. I'll probably go double one key here, or maybe a one key with a two key. Either way, I'm 100% doing this. How much does this heal? Would it survive the spot? Maybe. I mean, they're probably gonna kill it either way, but... Do I want another one key or do I want a two key? Yeah, I probably want a two key. Which one, though? What can we do here that might be threatening? I think probably just the cassowary. Get some reach. Actually, that's kind of awkward. I think I'll go Maggie, actually. Just because there's not that many blocks to stand on. So I don't think the... What's it called? The cassowary is a very good idea. This might just die to the spot, but then my... My murdering would live. Well, that's not a bad deal. Either way, this is very bad for them, though. Even if they could kill both of these, I would kill one of these while moving forward. Or if they, like, killed this with the Maggie, that would still be bad for them also. Kerbloom. Isn't that dead? Yeah, it is. Don't know why they would put it there. I'm fine with getting both of these bombed, or both of these bombed, not this. I think that's perfectly fine for me. Actually, can I kill? I guess I can't. So this can't move forward. Hmm. Could still just kill this. I think I'll do something like this. If this is enough damage, which I believe it is. Yeah, it is. They can still use the Kabloom on the Stabby, but that's not a bad deal. Do we just kill this thing? This is already injured anyway. I think it's fine too. Then we just bring Saki, I guess. Wanna bank some keys soon. This looks pretty terrible for them though. Even though they get to kill both of these and push this back, maybe. It's still pretty bad. Could have also brought like a more aggressive phobia to threaten the spot, but I don't really know if I like that because it can move away either way. So it doesn't really make that much sense. 
better defend this or I'm taking it with Grave Digger. I'm definitely doing that. That's a very easy capture. And I'm actually defending it fairly well. At least if I want to. I can always move over with these. Which are both pretty strong phobies. What do I want now? Could just Grimes them. They don't really have enough power to do anything for Grimes. At least not right now. Could just bring one large phobic, but then they lose to the lob. So that doesn't really make any sense. I can still just move out if I don't want to fight here. Just makes the soggy a little bit awkward, but I'm fine with that, I think. Could also just jump at them, actually. Then it's less awkward. Let me take this point with the Grimes. Maybe we bring this. Does that make any sense? It doesn't really make any sense to bring. Here. Yeah. They're going for small phobies anyway. Maybe I just go... Tooth Fairy to the top. Here to protect the point. We'll also go for my own spot. I like the tooth very more because it can sit on the obstacles. I mean, they're definitely just dead here. This is not a game where they have a chance of winning. A jar cannon is just a bad starter. You would almost never open with a jar cannon. There's like one map where it can kind of be correct to one large map. But outside of that, I don't think it's a good idea, almost ever. We'll just let the Saki die, I think. Start hitting their heart. Because why not? Maybe I could do something else to also kill this, but it doesn't matter. Like, I'm up so many keys with these. Plus the crimes will also kill and eat this or whatever you want to call it, or this if I wanted to.
Do I even have another flyer? I don't think I do. I mean, not a fast one. I guess I can go to Lomi. There's no reason to even summon anything. This long of queue time, it might be a underlevel player. Or someone very overlevel. That's the other thing that sometimes happens. Sometimes it goes to like one and a half or two minutes, and you think, oh god, I'm gonna get someone in Doomsday, and then you just see Hope Lloyd. You're like, oh. Or you know, someone very high level. and high rank. What is that? Looks like undead event. Hmm. Guess I will do undead too then. Oh, I don't have them favorited anymore. Guess I'll just also do only undeads in that case. Where's Benny? There is. Hope they don't just sacrifice stuff for no reason. They might be doing that. Just trying to get games in. Would be more fun if they actually like played it. Though. Although if they are actually trying to play it, they brought way too many one keys. So don't know how realistic that is either. I am actually done with the event, so I'm just doing this to be nice. Because it feels kind of bad to just beat people up with like real phobies while they're doing all on deaths.
maybe I'll move Benny up here and put a cassowary out. Could also do creep, but I think I like this more. Actually, I'm not even gonna move away. I'm just gonna hit it here. They're just sending everything in because they need space. Oops, wrong order. Get hit first. Does this have enough to... doesn't have enough to kill the Ted, does it? Or it does. Should just do this and keep the Kazuari alive then. Actually, I can't even just stand there. It's fine. Not an undead. Hmm. Actually, I should. Just, should I just hit this normally? Maybe I should actually just kill stuff. Also, this is pretty annoying to look at. The fire end here. It's actually good into what I have. Probably just killing stuff like this. Should I be moving up with this? Maybe I just hit it once with this, once with this. Move on to it, move away. Something like that. Then break a block, move this back. Which undead should I be bringing into that fire ant? I think I may just bring a large one like foul it maybe or something Mildred I could also do that's a pretty good one too this is the undead thing yeah this is undead I don't really think I want that but still I could bring that if the game like stalls out or something I don't think I should need that though I wonder if I can just hit here, or if there's a trap. There might be a trap. Let me just move away instead. Actually, I don't need to move away with this, I can just move back with this. Should be fine. Which bundit do I want? 
it's either Mildred or like either Fleshcrawl or Fowl or something. Fleshcrawl feels like too much melee. Fowl is also kind of weird. I could just go this. Go ahead and one punch this if they don't move it in two turns. Also, my Kazuori should not be standing here. That's definitely a mistake. Let's not tell them that. They might not know. Here's that they do not... Okay, they do know. Maybe I just go hit this thing. There's no traps up here. So how long is there until I can place a block? One turn. Hmm. Well, this one is annoying again because it can reach it from very far away. Guess I'll just put it all the way up here or something. I can't heal at this point, so I should just hit this thing. And just move this one back. Yeah, they can't target it here. And I might be able to put down a block and then use the ability on the block. Just so that I get some value out of it. Bringing Mildred without my own Leprechaun is kind of a bad idea. But whatever. This is actually a decent AoE. It's not that bad. At least not when you consider they have a Leprechaun, which would have otherwise locked this out completely. Get a little bit of damage everywhere. Probably move this back and then... Actually, I can't jump, so I guess I shouldn't do that. This one we can just hit back. That's a winning trade for me, I think. Then with these, do I just destroy this block? I probably do. Keep this here. Did they hit me twice? Wait a minute. Is there a trap under this? There might be a trap under this. I did not look at whether they hit me twice or not. I should probably have kept notice of that. Also, I should have moved the Grave Digger before the animation. Now it might not move. Yep, it did not move. I hate that the arena system has that, by the way. That you cannot do anything during any animations in the game. That is a terrible mechanic. Or not even mechanic, it's just a flaw in how the game is built. But like, I don't understand why that is there. It's very, very bad for arena. Makes the gameplay feel much less fluid, also. Just overall bad in every way. Guess I could have pressed rewind and tried doing that fast, but then my build dude might not go off, so that's also not a good idea. Should I kill this cat? I think I'm just gonna do this and hit it. He's gonna turn this off, so... 
can't really do much with it right now. Which war key do I want? Probably a daisy or something. Makes the most sense. Maybe I move the Benny down over here. I don't think there's any undead I can go here that deals enough damage for that. I think I'll just bring a daisy in to have more phobies with bones being annoying. There's no fire trap there, which makes me think there's a fire trap here probably. But the fire end is dead soon, so that's pretty nice. Oh, they did not turn the milk at off. I guess I can't hit anything because there's no blocks, but... If I kept it here, they would have just turned it off, so it's not really... Like... It's not really a winning play for this Mildred right now. Just kind of useless when there's a Leprechaun on the board. That's why you normally bring your own Leprechaun when you're doing Mildred. At least you should be. Maybe I should just all in on this thing. Mm. Feel like I probably should be doing something at least. Although there might be traps here if I do this though. Like this could be game losing if I do this. Maybe I shouldn't be. I just don't know what else I can even do. could just walk down and hit this without actually using anything else. Something like this maybe? I guess so. Hope there's not a trap here. There's one up here now. I should probably have known that. Whatever. The damage on the daisy doesn't really matter because it's gonna get it back when it hits down here. This is actually forced to move back unless they want to like move in with everything and put a block on this which they could do they could move forward to kill this and then oh they don't have the block then they have to move on to it that's pretty hard without giving up the grave digger i guess which they can do but that's not that good st still for them now i can kill the fire end if i want to Unbearable. Don't see why I wouldn't do this. Straight up murder this thing. Maybe I should be moving forward with the Mildred. It's just a meat shield at this point. Although there might be a trap here, so I might be doing damage to my phobies if I do that. So maybe that's not a good idea. Move this up into the fire though, doesn't really matter. If it gets another hit and it's gonna heal to full health anyway. Okay, there was a trap there, but it doesn't matter, the daisy just comes back anyway. Would need one hit no matter what. So the sacrifice, the one key, and the grave digger, I guess. I'm gonna hit this just for healing a tiny bit. Oh, I was already full health, never mind. This looks like a win now though, 
this doesn't have the cooldown up and he can't kill this. So no matter what, he's gonna get hit by the ability which will end the game. Effectively. Whichever one he doesn't heal dies here, so you it's not a great deal for him. Could also just hit the heart if I really wanted to. Then kill this after. Actually, do I have enough damage for that? I guess I don't. Probably. Should just kill this thing. Also gives me a little bit of healing. Then move out of the way. Spread my phobies out here so that even if I step in a trap that I don't get damaged by multiple things. Not that it matters, I mean... The game is clearly over. This didn't even die. Can't even use the ability, so it doesn't matter if it dies, but still. Oh, I need another hit. Done. Even if they kind of cheated, I thought they would go all on deads there. Not some sudden fire and then leprechaun stuff. But it was kind of undeads against undeads still. Mm -hmm. 